Welcome to Web Services Testing for Beginners. Now this tutorial should give you a quick overview of the SOAP UI interface. Now first things first, I'm going to activate my SOAP UI interface by accessing it from my Windows 8 menu. As you can see, there's my SOAP UI version. Once again, SOAP UI is completely free and easily accessible from the SOAPUI.org website where you can follow a step-by-step -step wizard to download your very own SOAP UI interface for your computer. Right, once activated, you'll receive your SOAP UI interface. And of course, to get started, we need a WSDL file. Now, before we get to that, that you need to remember that SOAP UI is for web services testing. It's an open source web services testing tool that we will be using to test something like a calculator, currency converter, very basic web services at this moment. So let's access our WSDL file. Now, a WSDL file, also known as WSDL, or Web Services Description Language, which is normally a file in which a description can be written, for say, for instance, XML. So to access it, it needs to be saved on your desktop, or you can attach a URL. So I'm going to start by accessing the File menu and clicking on New SOAP UI Project. Once I've clicked there, you can assign a name to your project, say, for instance, Calculator. And then I will browse my desktop to find the calculator XML file. Once double clicked, attach to your no new SOAP UI project window. Once you've attached your URL, I recommend you select the first two tick boxes, create sample requests for all operations, and create a test suit for the important WSDL and WADL file. Click OK and you should receive a generate test suite. Leave all default settings. Click OK, you can assign a new name. I'm going to leave mine as default for now. And OK. So you'll see that SOAP UI has created a sample request and organized our tests as well, our test suite. Within the test suite, you'll find your test case. And of course, within the test case, your very first test steps. So let's take a look at these test steps. Double click on the test step. You can also access the add test step and you'll notice the envelope within the test step. A test case can be run through the server by clicking on the play button, which will generate the script and of course retrieve a request. Send a request and retrieve a response. Now we also have the option to create multiple test steps. You can right click on test steps, add test step, and then of course we can add several sorts of test steps like a test request, groovy script, properties, etc. Now we also have the option to edit your URI, URL in this case, uh, of your WSDL file. Now you could do that by accessing the navigator up here and click on edit current. Once you've clicked on Edit Current, you can obviously go change your URI or actually specify URI in this case. SOAP UI also allows you to create load tests. Now we can easily create a new load test by right clicking on the load tests itself and click on New Load Test. Give your load test a name. In this case, I'll be naming mine Sample. And let's take a look. From here, you can select the number of criteria that you request, test delay, and several options that you can customize here to take a look at your load test sample. And of course, to run your load test, you can just click on the play button, which as you can see is currently running my load test as we speak. Also notice that you can customize the sizes of your spaces. So you can take a look at all your step statuses as they are running. On that note, SOAP UI also provides mock services. A mock service can be quite helpful, especially in cases where you need a simulation, uh, where you would like to run a test against a mock service, could also refer to a duplicate or a, almost a fake service, where you're waiting for a developer to, clip, to, com to complete the actual interpretation. So there you have a quick sample of a quick overview regarding web services testing of a sample file. To access sample files, you can find any sample files on 
the internet or you can obviously create your own just for testing of course if you want to start off for the first time 